Welcome to the EA Power Hour. My name is Zeke Peach and I'm with Electro Automatic, the leader in programmable DC power supplies, bi-directional DC power supplies, and electronic loads. Today I'll discuss how to discharge a battery using the built-in test function in our EL9000DT series of electronic loads. This uh, built-in feature is also available in our EL9000, ELR, and PSB uh, series of products. We're going to start off uh, by setting up our power supply. We're going to use the power supply to simulate a battery that is discharging into the load. So it's going to run a simple ramp function. Uh, it's going to start at 12 volts. And uh, here on this display you'll be able to see the amps uh, and power coming out of, out of the power supply. So as, I, as soon as I hit start, what this is going to do is ramp down from 12 volts down to 4 volts over, over the period of about a minute. Uh, simulating a battery that is discharging. Over here on our EL9000 uh, DT, um, we've got our battery test function, which I'm going to select here. And then we've got a static or dynamic. Dynamic does basically two different static uh, tests, and it will switch between two different discharge limits. So I'm going to select dynamic just to... Um, so you can see a little bit more going on uh, during the test. The test configuration gives you a little d display so you know what variables you're programming and what those mean. Uh, we're going to start off um, discharging the battery between 10 amps and 2 amps. So those will be the two power levels we're going to discharge at. Uh, we're going to do that um, not exceeding 5,000 watts. And the times for each of these two uh, discharge levels are going to be one second, so it's basically just going to alternate between those two levels um, until we hit the end of the test. And so this is where we're going to, the second page is where we're going to define the end of the test. And this will give us three different actions uh, to, or, or variables to tell us when the test is uh, completed. And with a, with a battery, you want to discharge down to a voltage that's determined by the manufacturer and so you'll have to determine that yourself um, and then based on that you can determine um, how, you can give it a time limit um, how long you should expect it to uh, not go past uh, in this case we're going to do 10 seconds or 10 minutes uh, discharge capacity uh, this is more of a, both of these are more protection so if you know you have a, a discharge capacity of 90 amp hours for example you might set it at 99 uh, to ensure that if there is a problem, you, it, the load shuts off itself uh, around the time that it should. And then in this case, we're going to discharge down to 5 volts. Uh, so I'll hit next. Here you can select whether you want uh, the battery test data to be logged onto USB, which is right over here. Um, so you can plug in a USB port uh, or a thumb drive and download data directly uh, onto that drive. If I hit load, now our load is ready to start. And as soon as I hit start, you'll see the, the voltage here. The current will be going between 10 and 2 amps. Uh, our power limit will be 5,000 watts, or 500 watts. And then here are our discharge limits. Uh, you'll see those starting to count once the test begins. So I'm going to hit start on our battery test. And we're now running. You'll see the display switching between 10 and 2 amps. I'm going to hit start on our power supply so it can start ramping down just like a discharging battery would. And away we go. So we see we've got our discharging voltage, uh, the current alternating between 10 and 2 amps, and the power level at, at those two points. And then we're just going to see the voltage continue to drop. Uh, on our load, we've got our amp hours and watt hours uh, ticking up, as uh, depending on the calculated power, and then our uh, time that's also um, incrementing up uh, to ensure that we don't go past these other limits. But what we're going to reach and what we should see is at 5 volts, the test should stop, and at that point, uh, the test will be complete. Hey, hey, and here we see the end of the test. 
the reason is because we reached our voltage uh, at the end of the voltage or end of the test. And that's all. Uh, it's really that simple. Um, so come back and we'll, uh, the next video will show you how to set up a ramp on the power supply. It's uh, just that, just as easy. Uh, thanks again for watching. To learn more about our power and test solutions, please visit us at the links below. If you have a video request uh, for us at EDA, please leave, us, leave this in a comment. We'd be more than happy to uh, shoot a video for you. Uh, we also do online live demos that you can um, uh, schedule with us on our website. So thanks for watching.